Hey, what's going on people? It's Mason Jagat. We're gonna go on the bike today and do a range test. Hopefully the battery won't die. Find out. guys welcome back we're back on the super 73 right here and we're in Everett I don't know what to tell you you already didn't know this guy has a thumb throttle it's not like actuated like a normal throttle on a motorcycle now use your thumb as you can see when I push it it goes and I got this like cheap mirror, which is a lifesaver, by the way. Uh, it really does help. It's like a super duper wide angle mirror thing. <laughs> and it truly does help, guys. Oh, and I also got a bell, too, because I've noticed like when you're in Seattle or anywhere that's actually crowded, um, having this little Amazon bell really does help, guys. Um, without being obnoxious, right, and using the power from your, from your battery. Um, when you're actually going out and riding um, through traffic, you don't actually have to honk. Cause that'd be hella rude, right? <laughs> you guys are like honking at some uh, some bikes like you're a fucking car. Like you don't want that. You don't really want to be honking at some old lady riding a bicycle, freak her out, make her knock over. That's no good. That's not good, guys. So that's why I got this little bill. And that's the reason why. Let me move out of this guy's way real quick. But yeah, we are out here on the Super 73 RX. We're in Everett. We're gonna do a little bit of a range test here today. All right, so let's go up on this little bridge here. Usually always packed, all the time. We're gonna go this way. Let that throttle try to do some work up this hill. Whew. Super duper, super duper hard. All right, back to me. All right, guys, we are on this little bridge looking thing over the overpass. As you can see, good old Everot, not Seattle. Or it's kind of sketchy. Try to avoid all this glass. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is that left brake on the handlebar makes a weird noise when I brake. Almost like an electronically. Anyway, I'll show you guys. I don't know if you can make it out or not, but here, it's this brake right here on the left side, which controls the front to stop the front wheel. But I don't know if you can hear it. But it doesn't. It doesn't really do it all that great right now because I'm not hauling buns. But when I am and I do push that brake or pull on it, it has like the, this weird vibrating, like electronically noise thing. All right, I think go. Oh, trying to die. This is Everett, by the way. We're on our way to get some coffee. You know, that's my big thing. Seriously, guys, I'm from Seattle. Of course, I'm gonna want coffee. Oh, shit. Bumpier than a moose knuckle. Ugh, good thing I have these shocks. I told you I was gonna get coffee. All right, so we're at this uh, Stars and Stripes. I keep wanting to say famous Stars and Stripes because of the brand clothing. It's famous and we've been here for 21 years. It's oh yeah? Been for 21 years, yeah. Oh wow, okay, like cool. Oh no, th that's totally just one. Yeah, let me, uh, sorry, my fact, I'm gonna get my wallet. Over. You're fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, can I do a dollar tip? Yeah, we have a new system now. I feel weird because I gotta ask people. Oh, like new uh, new technology, yeah, right? Exactly. We're, we're coming up in the world. <laughs> here you can find yourself on there. Oh yeah. Here you'll be totally. tagged in here. So. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yeah, make sure you tell everybody, like you know, this is a staple in this town. You gotta come here. We make the best drinks. You got it. Yeah, we will do. Well, I love locals. Yeah, I can say that. <laughs> yes, all the locals. Most of them know us. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, they have this grasshopper drink, which is amazing. Sorry, I turned off my uh, turned off my e-bike, so now I can't roll really well. 
I was trying to conserve battery, guys. Just saying. You guys already know I do the sugar-free thing, so that's what I'm doing. Grasshopper right here, sugar-free, hot coffee drink. All right, let's go. All right, guys, we are on this road right here. It's like kind of like this back road trail thing on in Everett. <clears throat> it's like headed towards South Everett. All right, we're going 11 miles an hour. See if we can go faster. Just a little test. But yeah, as you guys can see, you totally can get 30 miles an hour. This is like flat, slightly down, but barely. It's basically flat, the direction I was going when I was going 31. But yeah, you can get going, guys. Like once you start getting going, it's it's good. It's, it's a good feeling. Um, off the bat, though, it takes a little while. Um, not like forever, forever, but I guess in the e-bike world, just a little bit longer, just a tad. But once you get going, like I said, do it. I got the bike here, and we're in Everett, nearby 128th, on a bridge. Something about bridges, I have no idea. I just love bridges, especially when you're riding. It's just such a good feeling. It feels like you're, uh, I don't know, like jumping the whole bridge on a, on a bike like a daredevil or something. We were in Everett, north of Everett. Um, I can't remember how many miles it is, but I'll probably put it over here or something. So for where I live. And if we turn on the bike, right, there's the button. Nobody knew about that button. There it is, you turn it on. It goes straight to this little thing right here. It shows you all the speed. Anyway, so we are at, uh, I got a little bit more than half, like 75%-ish. Like total miles that I've done, we're at 101, guys. Yeah, I usually like having it on number two. The reason why I like having it on number two is because of the pedal assist is a decent pedal assist. It's not too, too much of a pedal assist, but it's not on the lower end either as far as being not strong enough to, to assist with pedaling. And also, the throttle itself still gets you going pretty well. If you can see it from the side view, it's this little thing right here. Oops. Pushes all the way down to like here-ish, and that gives you the full throttle. Like I was saying before, it's a linear power. But it, once you get going, it puts you where you want to be fast enough for a bicycle, an e-bike. All right, guys. Back on the bike. Man, it is loud as shit shit up here. Right. to get a workout in, you know? It's so nice today. It's a little bit lost. I haven't been here since they put houses and homes. It's been kind of weird. I wonder if there's like another way to go. Find out. Uh, well, I guess we can't go this way. So we're waiting for some traffic here. We've got some on the side. Uh, we're gonna go a little bit faster. We are entering Snohomish now. Alright, let's go. Let's do this.
about riding in lane without a bike lane is cars behind you. You can only go 30 miles an hour, but these fools are going like more than that. <laughs> All right, guys, we are in Snohomish now. As you can see, it's a bunch of farmland and everything. And we're on the bike. We are at exactly that much range. So there's half right here. It's a little bit more than that. I'm assuming it's about 65% probably. But the funny thing about it is I just found out that even if you do get down past your halfway point and just a little bit into the quarter of the battery left, you cannot, absolutely not go on hills anymore or up hills. There's like no way I tried. Um, I got down to like a quarter left of the battery and all it gives you is just juice of what's left. And I guess my thought process was it gives you juice all the way until you get to like 5%. But no, dude, it like literally gradually slows down a quite a bit, guys. If you didn't know that, if you never had a Super 73 or you just got a Super 73 and you just got it and you haven't gotten that down into your battery level yet, then yeah, it's literally, here we are here, right? Here's halfway. If you get to like right over here where it's towards the very end, that's where it's gonna be like cap out. You have no more throttle to go up hills. Uh, so no more hill climbing, just like flat with assist from the uh, throttle itself. Just keep that in mind. So when you do go out for a long ride, you know there's gonna be hills like Seattle, like San Francisco, whatever, keep that in mind. And now we're at Snohomish. As you can see, we're about halfway. So yeah, we're about halfway battery. We're just like a few percent above halfway. I really gotta conserve this battery, guys, because honestly, we still got a little while to go. We're, we're in Snohomish. We're going to the furthest part away. Snohomish towards the end and uh, we're, we just got into Snohomish so Bigford Avenue is where we're going yeah it's a big plaza area all newer stuff but from there then we'll head home but I gotta conserve this battery and the way I'm gonna do that is try not to use the throttle as much so guys when you get this bike and if you never had one or you're just curious you don't have to use the throttle. Save that battery. When it's a downhill, don't use it if you want to conserve, if you're going on a long, longer distance route. Save it for hills. Something. Flat ground, cool. You can chill a little bit. Slightly uphill, go ahead and use it if you need it. But you just need to like tap on it. Just a couple of taps give you enough juice to get you pedaling again. You don't have to pedal your ass off and like pedal hard. You just gradually pedal, check it out. See, you really don't need much. That's all you gotta do. Just a little gradual pedal, get a little bit of workout. Don't have to push too hard. Just enough to get going. And I promise you, I promise it'll be just fine. I honestly try to keep the throttle <laughs> when I need it, I kind of use just little like little boost throttles like little pinch of throttle Just to get the momentum back going again on the flats if I need it All right, by the way guys if you guys don't know this beanie. Sorry, I'm gonna stop right here This beanie right now has music. It's a Bluetooth beanie. It's actually really cheap. It's only like $25 If you look at it right here there's two speakers and these speakers right here are removable although I never remove them and they you can charge it, it only takes like I think it's only like less than two hours seven hours of uh, playing high volume music which is great um, it just connects straight to my phone which is right here and as you can see I'm playing some music it's a uh, space is the same as the song Red Five is the band. It's an old school band. Um, it's like uh, old rock, I guess, like alternative-ish punk. 
So I have this Bluetooth beanie. It's on Amazon. It's called Tenergy. And Tener Tenergy, I think is how you pronounce it, is a better brand. And they make beanies. So uh, just let you guys know. Awesome little thing to have. Cordless, Bluetooth, you're gold. You made it that whole way. There's a big old hill. And honestly, well, it wasn't like steep, but it was a long, gradual hill. And you know, I just hit the throttle. Just one or two taps. Save that battery, guys. Save that juice. We made it to Bigford Avenue, Bigford Plaza in Snohomish. And we're gonna turn off onto this farmland area where there's less cars, I hope. Still pedaling, still pedaling. As we're coming across a big old hill on the bike, this is where it's gonna help us save juice. So I'm gonna try my best not to use the throttle because by the time we get to Everett, that's when it gets crazy with the hills back home. And as you can see now, we are at, uh, right now we're a little less than half battery. So probably close to like, I don't know, 48%, maybe 45-ish percent battery left. Not bad. Kinda windy though, just a little bit. Got some cocks in the road. Some cocks. So we are literally out of Snohomish, basically. Now we just gotta get on the road, back on that bridge over there. And that'll bring us over the bridge right into Everett. And I'm not really that tired, I'm just a little bit <laughs> slightly winded. We went, I don't know exactly what the miles are. I'll put it up right here. But definitely more than 10, 15, maybe 20, I don't know. Put it up right here for you guys. Yeah, we made it back to Everett guys. But we're still not home. We will be though. We're a little bit less than half, excuse me, a battery left. I think we can do it. We gotta get one big old hill at Forest Park area. That's right before where I live. Let's do it. All right guys, we pretty much made it. I am back in the local area, really close to home. I have one more hill to do and that's it. Super 73 RX, we made it. We did it. I'm not too worried about what we got left on the range here because I know for a fact that I'll get home. Not too worried about it now. We are at, let's turn on the battery real quick. Turn it off for a second. All right, where are we at here? We're at exactly, well, not half, but almost at that quarter point what we got left. And that should be enough for us to uh, get home. Well, until next time, guys. Hopefully this running nose goes away. This was the range test, battery life test, in the local area where I live, north of Seattle, which is uh, Everett. So until next time, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.